this video I'm going to show you how you can increase the flow of a MaxiJet power head for no additional cost. All you're going to need is a MaxiJet pump like I have here. It's a 1200 series but you can use any other one and a couple of simple hand tools. So why don't we get started? Okay so we've got our MaxiJet pump here basically how it comes out of the box and what we're going to be doing in this modification is we're going to be cutting off this nozzle right here and then we are going to drill some holes in the bottom of this housing. Now what this is going to do is by cutting off this piece right here it will allow the water to come out of the pump in a much wider stream than just a narrow concentrated stream like if you just have this nozzle on. And by drilling some holes in the bottom here we're going to allow the impeller inside to be able to draw more water. Now if you've never taken one of these pumps apart before, you should pay attention on how it comes apart so you can put it back together in the way that you took it apart. It's pretty easy though. You'll see there are a couple of notches in this housing. Just move the notches to where these little finger pieces are here and the bottom comes right off. Now there is an o-ring seal that's right around here. want to make sure that that stays in place. And We're not going to be doing any modifications at all to the rest of the pump. All we're going to be doing is working on this piece right here. Alright, let's cut this housing. You'll notice there's a little plastic raised portion right here on the nozzle and what that does is it allows a water deflector that's like an additional item that comes with these pumps uh, to snap on right here. It goes on this way. Uh, what we want to do is cut about a quarter of an inch in from that plastic line. So it's going to be like right in here. We're not going to use a razor knife, I'm just using this to show about a quarter inch in, we'll take a hacksaw and cut it off. Now you want to go slow at first, use just kind of light pressure until the saw teeth start to bite into the plastic. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. You just saw the nozzle off. Okay, there, now our nozzle is off. Brush it off a little bit. Now there's a little bit of plastic, kind of jagged on the inside here. I want to take our razor knife, or razor blade you can use, and just kind of scrape that off. Once again, don't cut your fingers. If it's really rough, you could take some sandpaper to it, but this looks pretty good. You can see there's twice the size now that the water can come out. Now it's time to drill some holes in the bottom of this housing. I'm going to use a 3 16 of an inch drill. Uh, you could use a quarter inch, but I wouldn't go any larger than that. And we're going to be drilling a series of holes around the main intake. There's your holes. I drilled five holes in here, evenly spaced them around the center. Uh, I didn't want to drill any holes in this area here because I really don't think that's going to do too much. But the holes are going to allow the impeller to be able to draw more water in. Now that our hosing is completed, all we need to do is attach it to the pump body. But before we do that, a word from our sponsor. Okay, we're going to really work the inner thighs. Ready? And down. Down. Okay, we're back. Now this housing will only fit on one way onto the pump. You'll notice that this notch is just a little bit too small for the tab on this side. 
So we need to spin this around a little bit. You don't want to force it. Spin it, make sure that it's going to line up properly. Push it down and just give it a little bit of a turn. Now the housing won't come off of the pump. And that's all there is to it. So easy Olympic.